okay so we are going to create uh, this new app uh, with solar console just follow me the steps here okay, let me open the playground So setup is something like you can find all your uh, <clears throat> component uh, components or the tasks, everything you want to look for uh, as an administrator. Okay, and object manager is something that it will show you the objects uh, which are already available and their related fields, page layout, record types, triggers, uh, buttons, and everything. Okay. So here we are going to create a new lightning app with service console. Okay. So what I have done in this is called as set search box in setup. So you can just type a keyword. So the related information will come below. So I'm going to the app manager. So this app manager is something like which is collectively having all applications which are already there in this particular arc okay okay getting the app manager okay. okay so even um so for example uh, i said right at uh, this app launcher you if you click on this one it will show you particular list of things here okay uh you want to modify these apps also you are you want to remove particular app for example i want to remove this site.com from here and uh, i want to add some other xyz app here so that also you want to do that so you need to come to this app manager this app manager section you can see all these are the apps which are currently available here and you can also see there is a drop down for each given okay so you can edit that and do this app manager assignment to the app launcher okay now as per our task from here they are going they are asking to create a new app that is major solar console i just copied the app name to create a new app you can see here new lightning app it's a button they have provided okay and click on it the app will, will this you need to fill up the details so i'm just copying it from here because they will validate this against uh, the details okay in trailhead everything uh, up, upon completion of every exercise we need to validate it then only it will allow you to go to the next um, topic okay so i copied it from here So this developer name is nothing but the APA name of this particular app. Okay. So remember, this is label. It will show you on the UI. And APA name is something that we use in the backend. Okay. So description, um, we can give anything that there is something valid and useful for the other users creating a new I'm just giving this and if you want to give some branding so branding is nothing but when you open this particular app it will come up with some logo so if you have anything then you can upload you can uh, take this color th themes as well okay so let me go and see here description okay they also given some description let me copy it from here only so you are not adding any logo. okay we are not adding click next then 
console navigation service center. Okay, I'm clicking next. And we are here. So the app options. So this is main, how you uh, normal, normally differentiate between um, classic uh, tab or app and this uh, lightning app, okay? So in this, we they have they are asking to you to select standard navigation is something the tab tab by tab it will go and console is navigation is something you will get the things like this. Oh wait. So you, you will add all your items like here and it will come like a drop down. Okay, not like side by side, it will come like a drop down. And from you can easily switch from accounts to cases, uh, cases to contacts. Okay, so and you, it, it like kind of UI will be completely different from standard navigation. So, so select console navigation and it item. Okay, let me select console navigation. I have selected and Click next, add utility item. Okay. So let me add utility item here. History. My goals. So they are asking to add the other um, items as well. Markers and open CTS soft form. Let me do that as well. So the the one which we have added, it is coming here. You can, you can see that here. And they want to add macros. So I added that and soft form. Where is that? Yeah, this. So I'm just following the steps what they uh, are being asked in these steps. Okay. We will we can discuss okay. these things later as well. So next I'm going to add the required objects. So this is the thing. Uh, which I was explaining there. So, so this is something you need to choose the items or the objects which you are going to use frequently, very frequently. Okay, so that you can uh, immediately open the tabs and open the records and everything you can do. Okay, so at present I'm uh, adding account I have added, and they are asking to add some more. It's so yeah. Okay, I'm adding these cases. Backs. So in Salesforce, there are two things, contacts and contracts, both are different, okay? Contact is something, it will hold your contact information, kind of your name, address, um, phone numbers, and mailing address, family address, like all address related, the way they, they are going to contact you. Contract is something, it's different, okay? So it will, like it's coming in like kind of, um, the duration terms and financial related info. Okay. So it's like an uh, agreement. Yeah. You can say uh, like a loan, uh, when you borrow some loan, it will have all this detail like contact. So which one they want to add? Knowledge, it's like not coming there. This is not available, so let's know this. Uh, they won't have any 
Let me double check on. So it is going to come at a glance view, which we are adding. Yeah. So the uh, of once you finish this uh, app creation, all these items will come uh, kind of drop down. I, I will show you. Like, once it is done, you will get to know all this. So similarly, like the ones which I require, I have added here. For example, uh, in future, you don't want cases to be coming in that list. You, you can select cases here and this button. So that is to remove. Okay, so that particular object or it will get removed from there. So at present we need this, so adding. And this is the order like you can move from cases. I want to move the cases to a port, so I can put that. Okay. Yeah. So let me see here. Okay, this works at the radio button. OK, so this is the pace uh, how you want to the, the UI, how you want to see the UI. OK, <clears throat> accounts for accounts, they want to go with the workspace tabs. Then they will be selected. And for cases, sub tabs, account again. Choose account from the pick list. It's already there. For contacts, how they want. Subtitles about choose account again. So account. Okay. So I just follow the same step. Uh, so that the, how the same UI we, we can see it. And so they want to select custom support profile and the system admin profile. So select it in system administrator okay and added here save and finish OK, so let's go and see how the app comes here. Or I think we need to add that. Okay, Can you see this app? So that is added to the app launcher. And we can see this app from the app launcher. Click on that. So this is the one uh, which I was talking about. So the items, right, we, which we have added. So all is coming here, OK? So if you want more uh, objects you want to see up in this li same list, App Manager, go to this app, and we need to edit. And we need to add, actually, from the available list to here. Um, till now, any questions? The same uh, we have open here. No, go to your points. Yeah, uh, one question, Winkert. I mean, what is the difference between works workspace tab and sub tabs? So sub tab is nothing but. Uh, so there will be a parent tab. For example, let me open uh, any of the account. Let me show you the example here.
can you see here okay the, i just open an account here and for account we have taken the the tab it's not a sub tab okay and for account contact and cases we have taken as sub tab of account that's what we have selected right you can just verify here so radio button sub tabs choose of account so if you open any account these two things will come up here okay. when you select a because these are going to have a relationship here so if you want to create a contact you know need to go to the contact and click new button so the things all all the thing you need to do is you can click a new contact from the account itself so when you click new contact from here what will happen so by default the account name will get populated because you are already in the account and you are going to create a contact under that account so that means this uh, relation ship will be coming uh, by default and you can see that a uh, name of the account is pre-populated here okay so you want to give some like this creating um just giving some details here okay some phone number what and click save hope you are already aware like so you might have seen some red star mark over there right so that means you need to fill that information it's a mandatory without that filling that information on the fields salesforce will not allow you to save that record okay similarly let me click on new case you can see status right so status is compulsory here at least you you need to select any of the values from the drop down and fill up the information and save it okay any other doubts so just a, a thing here rahul uh, do it like uh, you might be seeing right so did you identify any difference here from your uh, previous thing to here so the drop down it changed it's not a standard navigation it's a console yeah. yes right right yeah okay cool you can shoot me any other questions if how till here and i i want you to do the same uh, in your trail head playgrounds go go to this um, module and start i mean just even they have already, they have given some other articles or some other instructions and everything just watch this videos and read the whatever the information they have provided here and all, everything will be helpful here okay and that will help you to crack uh, your salesforce admin certification okay and follow the same